Every Monday, I teach poetry to teens on probation. My classroom has a security officer, and half of the kids are on house arrest, wearing a two-way wraparound anklet that tracks every one of their bounty-hunted breasts. This ain't no TV movie where they lean on me for literacy. This is a court-ordered continuation school. They call me a punk bitch motherfucker to my face. These are the kids that would stab you in the neck with the pens, the statistics, the throwaways, the rebels without applause, and I'm supposed to teach them how to write when they can't formulate a sentence past 25 to life. So I do this short poetry set, then the principal wants me to talk about how poetry has made my life a success. When I'm just another crash test dummy, looking past his life of wrecks, calling his skid marks art, but now my scars are my credentials. My suicide attempts are inspirational shit. I'm fresh out the gutter and they still let me into this school without a background check. <laughs> and it's question time, and there's this kid. Three rows back, who's a real-life offspring of the boasts of gangster rap who uses mother's umbilical cord to take his first hit of crack. He sizes me up with a scowl bigger than his biceps. Says, yo, yo, Mr. Teachy, teach, teach. Yo, yo, man, how you gonna come in here and tell me that words are weapons when well, I got tools to blast your bitch ass up? Yo, son, man, instead of practicing poems, you should practice shutting the fuck up, aight? You don't live my life, aight? So unless you got a fucking court order, son, there ain't shit you can do to get me to write. They don't pay me enough to lie, and he does have a good sharpened point. How am I going to make a difference to the indifferent when I could read his face like carved bathroom graffiti? Talking feces like we ain't the same species. When it went from an honor roll high school student to a homeless speed freak in a year flat. So I shoot back at yo. I ain't here to scare you straight. I know you gotta find out like the rest of us that you can free fall forever looking for a bottom to scrape. But the truth is, you have the future in your fingerprints, but you refuse to uncurl your fists. Kept in this continuation school stockade where your teachers are paid with pink slips, fighting over the last stick of chalk while the student's father figures a white outline drawn on the streets by cops. And you can add up all your teacher's compassion, multiplied by your apathy, subtracted by every school budget in the state, equals less than zeros of dead weight. And parents are still wide awake over the next school shooting while freshmen shoot tar heroin point blank. And teachers can't pass out condoms to girls who've already been raped. Most of these kids are illiterate. Otherwise, they could read this in my face. I said, look, I ain't here to sugarcoat bullets, all right? I'm no victory. I'm just another piece of shit who had to salvage whatever he had left. But I'm here to tell you that you have a story. And no one's going to listen until you learn how to tell it. So don't bother saving your breath, because you're right. They're only going to give you a penny for your thoughts. But you, you'd rather cash it in impersonating 50 cent. And despite what your counselor tells you, this world doesn't give a fuck whether you live or survive. And when you're on that 9 to 5 grind, creativity is the first thing to die from the pen to the penitentiary. You're going to pick your path or pick your poison, but don't get it twisted, homie, as I ain't here to spoon feed you help. I'm here to listen because the next generation can speak for itself. Do not tell her how he keeps his things like he keeps his women, half broken, ill-used, cluttered, and stained. Do not get angry. 